Welcome to the Do-It-Yourself Gourmet Tips and Techniques. For today's recipe, you're going to need your favorite box potatoes, butter, milk, garlic powder, parsley, white pepper, black pepper, chicken stock, and water. And that'll start with two quarts of water with one quart of chicken stock, and then a half a teaspoon of white pepper, and then one to two tablespoons of garlic powder. Follow that up with about a cup of the oat milk, regular milk, or whichever kind of milk you prefer, and you're set to go with the potatoes. You mix that in while the water is coming to a boil mixed together with the chicken stock before you dump the potato mixture in. And for that one, it's going to be four cups of potato mixture, maybe five if you like them a little extra thick. And speaking of how you mix them in, you're going to want to use a paddle that is not very wide because potatoes need to absorb the moisture without having it whipped into them. One of the things that kills mashed potatoes is over mixing with something that just really rips apart the starch. You gotta be careful with it. And in doing so, you can add milk as you need, but mix as little as possible, and that's one of the biggest keys. Once the potatoes have had a time to sit and absorb the moisture, then you can add in your final liaisons or last ingredients. And for this, it's going to be about a half a tablespoon of parsley and black pepper and salt as you please to taste. I also put in a little bit more of the milk that I use, which is oat milk, and it's about a half of a cup because that at the very end gives them the flavor, whereas using it in the beginning helps lend itself to the creaminess. And again, mix it nice and gentle. Don't over whip because that will do your potatoes wrong. Do it yourself gourmet, everybody. Enjoy and happy holidays if that happens to be when you're making these instant potatoes. And let's see if anybody knows the difference. From these and potatoes made from scratch, Thanks for watching everybody. Please like and subscribe if you'd be so kind.